Imagine waking up in the middle of the night feeling a cold shiver running down your spine. You sense a presence in your room, eyes watching you from the darkness. The air is thick, heavy with an unknown dread that seems to wrap around you like a shroud. You swallow hard, your throat dry and suddenly you feel it. An icy touch, as if a specter has brushed against your skin. You dare not move, your heartbeat pounding like a war drum in your ears. Your mind is racing, your instincts screaming at you to flee. But you are frozen, trapped in the grip of a terror you cannot understand. You feel a sting, sharp and sudden on your neck. It's over in an instant leaving you gasping, your heart hammering in your chest. You sit up, your fingers trembling as they reach for your neck. You feel it then, two small puncture marks, fresh and raw. Panic seizes you. You scramble out of bed, your reflection in the mirror confirming your worst fears. The marks are real, as real as the draining fatigue that is washing over you. You feel weak, as if you've been running for hours. Your body feels heavy, your movements sluggish. You feel depleted, as if something has been taken from you, something vital and precious. You try to make sense of it but the answer is too terrifying to contemplate. As the first rays of the morning light filter through the window, you are left with a chilling realization. The fear, the weakness, the puncture marks, they all point to one horrifying conclusion. You have been visited by a creature of legend, a being that exists in the shadows, feared by many, understood by few. As the morning light broke they were left with a terrifying realization, they had been visited by a creature of the night, a vampire. But vampires are just folklore right, creatures of myth and legend, well prepare to question everything you thought you knew. In the heart of the 21st century we find ourselves wrestling with tales that seem as old as time itself. Vampires, beings that linger in the shadows feeding off the life force of the living, are often dismissed as mere figments of our collective imagination. Yet. What if I told you that such creatures might not be confined to the pages of a gothic novel? From the bustling streets of New York City to the quiet corners of rural Romania, individuals have come forward with eerie tales of encounters with beings they describe as modern-day vampires. These aren't your typical fanged monsters though. These vampires don't transform into bats or recoil at the sight of garlic. Instead they walk among us, indistinguishable from the average person, except of course for their unusual dietary needs. Take, for instance, the account of a woman from suburban Ohio. She speaks of a charming individual who, she claims, exhibited an unnatural vitality and youthfulness. Over time she began to feel inexplicably drained and weak in his presence. It was only after she distanced herself that she regained her strength, leading her to believe that he was siphoning off her energy. Or consider the narrative of a man in London, who describes a close friend who could see emotions and claimed to feed off the psychic energy of those around him. This friend, he says, was a psychic vampire. The accounts are chilling and while skepticism is natural, the consistency of these stories from across the globe is intriguing. It forces us to question, could there be a grain of truth in these tales? Could our understanding of vampires need to evolve, just as our understanding of the world around us has? These chilling accounts force us to question the boundaries of reality. Could there be more to these vampire stories than meets the eye? To delve deeper into this enigma, we turn to experts in the fields of folklore, psychology, and the paranormal. Our first stop was the rich world of folklore and myth. Historians tell us that creatures similar to what we know as vampires have been part of human storytelling for centuries, if not millennia. These creatures are often the embodiment of our deepest fears and anxieties, feeding off the living to sustain themselves. Folklorists suggest that these tales are a way for us to explore and express our fears about death and the unknown. Next we turned our attention to psychology. Psychologists propose that encounters with modern-day vampires might be a form of pareidolia, a psychological phenomenon where the mind perceives a familiar pattern where none actually exists. In other words our brains are hardwired to see faces in the clouds, or in this case vampires in the shadows. Another psychological theory suggests that these experiences might be a form of mass hysteria, where collective fear and anxiety manifest in shared physical symptoms or hallucinations. On the sociological front, experts argue that the modern-day vampire phenomenon could be a subculture or a lifestyle choice. Individuals might identify as vampires as a way to express their uniqueness, to challenge societal norms, or as a form of escapism. Lastly, we look at possible scientific explanations. Although no evidence supports the existence of immortal blood-sucking creatures, some medical conditions can mimic vampire-like symptoms.
For example, the rare genetic disorder porphyria can cause sensitivity to sunlight and other symptoms that have historically been associated with vampirism. However, despite these possible explanations, many who claim to have encountered vampires insist their experiences were real, and cannot be simply reduced to misinterpretations or medical conditions. They argue that there is a realm of existence that science has yet to fully comprehend or explain. As our experts suggest, the truth about vampires might be a complex interplay of psychology, cultural beliefs and perhaps the unexplained. So, where does this leave us? Do vampires walk among us hidden in the shadows of our everyday lives? We've journeyed together, peeling back the layers of folklore, psychology and first-hand encounters. We've heard the chilling testimonies of those who swear they've met these night stalkers. We've delved into expert analysis, seeking to understand the inexplicable. Yet despite all this, the existence of modern-day vampires remains shrouded in ambiguity and mystery. Could it be that these creatures are nothing more than figments of our collective imagination, born out of our primal fear of the unknown? Or perhaps they are as real as you and I, living among us, unseen and unheard? Whether you believe in vampires or not, one cannot deny the bone-chilling allure of these night stalkers. They remind us of the mysteries that lurk in the corners of our world, waiting to be unraveled.